Today we're gonna to learn why functions are like vending machines, but if you're in my class, you need to write down these four things first. And if you're not in my class, it probably doesn't hurt either. Um, anyway, a relation is gonna be a correspondence between two different sets of data, okay? Um, domain is gonna be the X values in those sets. Range is gonna be the Y values in those sets. Uh, sometimes they're called inputs and outputs. And then the most important thing, write this down exactly like I have it here, especially if you're in my college algebra class, write down that a function is a relation in which Every input has exactly one output. Every single word in that is very important. If that's not true, then it will not work. So using that definition of function, we're gonna tell you why those, the functions, are like vending machines. Let's go. All right, so I got my vending machine drawn up here. Think about what you like to get from vending machines. You can use that as your example. Um, I like Pepsi and Mountain Dew, so I'm gonna say Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and then it's really hot when I'm recording this, so I'm also gonna put a water on here. All right, so P, M, and W for Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and water. Um, now. A function, remember, is a relation which every input has exactly one output. So when you press that button on the vending machine, that's gonna be your input. You're telling the machine what it wants you to do. You're inputting that data. So for example, uh, Mountain Dew is probably my favorite of these. So when I hit the Mountain Dew button, uh, what I expect to get out, of course, is a Mountain Dew. If I didn't, I'd be mad, I'd probably kick it, and that wouldn't go well. So I'm gonna say Mountain Dew right there. Uh, same thing, if I hit the Pepsi button, I wanna get a Pepsi. And lastly, when it's really hot like it is today and I want a water, I hit the water button, I want a water. So let's look at what we did here. These were my inputs. These were my outputs. Did I get a function? Did I make a function? So every input has exactly one output. Yes, yes, yes. All the inputs, all three inputs have exactly one line coming out from them. So that is a function, right? Now I'm gonna show you ones that maybe are and maybe aren't. All right, so I have my original up here, right? If I hit the Pepsi, I get a Pepsi. Mountain Dew, I get the Mountain Dew. And if I hit the water, I get the water. But now I'm gonna uh, think of a few other types, okay? So for example, what about this one? What if when I hit the Pepsi, I actually get a Mountain Dew? And when I hit the Mountain Dew, I actually get a water. And when I hit the water, I get a Pepsi. Is this a function? Think yes or no on your own here. Yes, it actually is, okay? Because if I were to put enough quarters in that thing, I could figure out the pattern and realize that if I have to hit Pepsi if I want to get a Mountain Dew. If I want to get a Pepsi, I'd have to hit the water button. You could figure this one out, and therefore, since each of my inputs has exactly one line coming out from it, that definition is still true. It might not be exactly what we want, but it is a function, all right? What about another one? This time, let's say Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and water. Again, like I said, it's really hot today when I am recording this. And so Pepsi is still there, Mountain Dew is still there, but let's say the water is sold out. It doesn't go to anything, okay? So really, that line's not even gonna be there. Now, back to my definition, does every input have exactly one output? Well, since this one is sold out, no, it doesn't, right? There is no line coming out from this one because it does not work. That's when you hit the button and the machine will say sold out. So when a machine is sold out, that technically is not going to be a function for that vending machine, right? What about another one? Let's say again, really hot today. Um, let's say there's all sorts of different types of water, right? You have maybe four different buttons you could hit for water, but they all just go to water, right? The whole machine is just water. You've probably seen a machine like that before. Is this a function? Again, kind of think yes or no on your own here. Yes, it is, all right? And the reason why is because, again, each of these buttons have exactly one output. Now, it doesn't say anything about that the output needs to only come from one place. It's about what the button does that you're inputting that it goes to. So as long as there's just one line coming from each one, that is okay. All right, and then the last one's gonna be kind of the opposite. What if there was just one button? I'll, uh, I'll say R here and I'll tell you why in a second. But let's say it goes to either a Pepsi, Mountain Dew, or a water. The R may be for random, right? So if you hit the, R, the random button, is this a function? No, it's not a function because when I hit that, I don't know what I'm going to get. Is it gonna be a Pepsi? Is it gonna be Mountain Dew? Or is it going to be a water? We don't know. And so because of that, there's more than one um, output, right? It could be a Pepsi, Mountain Dew, or water. It is not a function. All right, so how do all those vending machines relate to the math that you're gonna see on your assignments? And the answer has to deal with kind of the X's and Y's or the inputs and outputs that you're gonna see um, in the problems like this. So here we have some ordered pairs for numbers one and two. And in number one, remember every input input has to have exactly one output. 
So what you're looking for in these different ordered pairs, there's four of them. I'm looking for any input, any X value. So the two, the six, the three, and the one uh, that has the same input that has a different output. And since these are all different um, inputs, the two, six, three, and one, those are all different numbers. It doesn't really matter what the outputs are because I have all different inputs. If I would have the same input, like we'll see in the next one, then it does matter. So is this a function? The answer here is yes, all right? Yes, that is a function. What about number two? Number two, we're looking again for the same input. So here I have a couple of twos. Uh, here's a four and another four. Now look at their outputs. This is two, four and two, five. Remember every input has to have exactly one output. So here, if I input two, one time I get a four, one time the output is a five, that's different. Same thing with the fours. One time it outputs a seven, the next time it outputs a 10. So is this a function? No, it is not a function. Okay, what about more uh, problems with the X's and Y's actually just given to you kind of like this? Uh, number three, this is written in the form Y equals MX plus B, which if you remember from algebra one is just a line, probably with some sort of a slope. And so is there any input for X that I could put in there that will give me um, multiple outputs? And the answer here is no, right? If you think of the way that a line works, in fact, this one is gonna have a positive slope, a positive slope of four and go through negative one. So it'll be really steep like this. Uh, there's no X value that I could put in that will give me two or more different outputs. In fact, we can use something called the vertical line test to test that out and it does not work. Um, what about this one? Um, again, what we did in number three is that it was solved for Y. In number four, if I solve this for Y really quick, Take the square root of both sides, and this gives me now y equals, and remember when you take the square root of something, it's either plus or minus. So plus or minus square root of x, whatever x happens to be. So this time, x could actually be both the positive and negative case of that square root. And so because of that, y will have multiple outputs. In fact, the graph of this um, looks something like that. And the vertical line test there, like if I were to put in X is one, maybe it would give me two different outputs and therefore this would not be a function.